His move rewarded Toby Amosan Brume and other athletes with a whopping 200 million naira for their achieved feats in athletics and sports in the recent past. Well, 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 it's happened and most of these um, athletes may not have been expecting this. I wasn't expecting it to happen also so soon, but it, it has happened and there is a money rain on these athletes. Though there are many of them and I don't know how much it was not specified how much each one of them is receiving. National honors were, was also awarded on some of them. Before we give you the details of what happened, we just want to appeal to you to please to like this video by giving us a thumbs up, share it among your friends and contacts, and also subscribe to our channel, especially if you are new. We will really appreciate that. Now, let's give you the news in detail. So, President um, Muhammad Buhari has on Thursday approved national honors of Office of the Order of the Niger, OON, and cash rewards of 200 million naira for Team Nigeria's contingents to the 2022 Commonwealth Games and the World Athletics Championships. At the award ceremony, which was held at State House at Abuja, the President congratulated the athletes for their outstanding performances saying their hour of sporting glory beamed the radar of the world on Nigeria, adding that their exploits projected the positive image of the country. Well, the president forgot to add that those who earn this accolade for Nigeria are also the people he once described as eh, the lazy youths. Well, according to a statement signed by the special advisor to the president of media and publicity, Femi Adeshino, titled President Buhari, who was Commonwealth Games, World Athletics Championship Atlas with national honors and 200 million naira. They included gold winners and other medal winners, including the world champion and record holder in the 100 meters hurdles, Toby Loba Amosa Ese. Brume, Blessing, Uburu Dudu, Uluwa Femi Ayo, Fola Shade, Tai Woliadi, Ike Chuku, Obichuku, Bose, Omolayo, Favor, Ofili, Nasiru, Sule, Ife Chuku De, Ike Oyi, Ebike We, Nimo, Wilson, Hannah, Ruben, and Elizabeth Oshoba. So speaking at the reception in honor of the Atlas, the president said that his government was committed to rewarding excellence, describing the Atlas as champions, worthy ambassadors, national heroes, and heroines. Buhari said their wars will spur them to greater heights. He said he watched with millions of Nigerians those exciting moments when you all brought smiles to us and our homes by breaking world record, national and games records, as well as achieving personal bests in your careers. Your outstanding performance in recent times are consistent with the determination of a nation always yearning for excellence, perf excellent performance. You all, members of the Team Nigeria, have ignited the spirit for victory in our nation. But even more, you have been victorious in major sporting championships and games. The President also noted that uh, 12 times the world stood still as Nigeria's flag was hoisted and the national anthem recited 35 times we made it to the podium. You all, Team Nigeria, made that possible. You brought glory and honor to our country. And today, on behalf of the nation, I say thank you. We are coming with the analysis, so you just listen to what the president said first, and then we will get to 
air our own opinion on the matter. On his part, Dari described 2022 as an outstanding year in the history of Nigerian sports. That's the Minister of Youth and Sports, Sunday Dari speaking now. Highlighting the most remarkable feats Dari said in track and field and Musa in a span of four months won Nigeria's first ever gold medal at the World Athletics Championships in Eugene, Oregon, USA. With a world record performance in an event highly dominated by Americans and Europeans. He said that Musa successfully defended the Commonwealth Games title, which he won in 2018 in Gold Coast, with a games record in 2022 in Birmingham and Diamond League title in Zurich, Switzerland, on September 8. He thanked the president saying this administration invested in youths, in youth and sports development and we continue to yield dividends years after the president might have completed his term as president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is the sports minister, Son Dedare, praising the president for his investment in sports, in the youth and development of sports. And I ask you, as a Nigerian, I'm here, but I'm struggling to recollect any remarkable investment that was made by this administration in the field of sports. I'm really scratching my head, thinking hard to remember something. I don't know if you remember. If you do, please, I would like to hear that at the comment section. Did they build a new stadium for football? Did they build a new track and field event? Did they initiate any program for training? What did they do specifically? That investment, Mr. Dare, I do not know. Or you just want to make the president happy that he appointed you a minister. You see, most people that have done remarkably well in Nigerian athletics unfortunately, are not based in Nigeria. That is the truth. They are based outside of Nigeria. They train where they have adequate facilities in countries beyond Nigeria, mostly in America. If you look back, if you think back, you can see many of them in the days of those, uh, um, is it Ebunike, in the 400 meters, they were based in America. The Mary Onyales, based in America. And a whole lot of them, even some had to dump Nigerian citizenship and sign up for other countries. I remember some guy called Obi Kwelo. I can't quite remember his real name. He left Nigeria for is this Spain and one other person joined one of the Arab countries for one simple reason. They provide them the facilities, they recognize their efforts, and they help them to achieve, to excel in their chosen field of sports. But we Nigerians, we don't value them. They walk their butts off and then get medals for us, and then we start claiming that we have invested in sports. Well, we thank the president for doing this honor. We hope they get the money immediately, uh, that it should not end up like the Eagles when you win, you get an award, and you receive it 20 years after when you are too old or whatever. So that's what happened on this one, and we know that these people will still do more, especially Amosa, and we will look out to better things to come around in the future. And at this point, we will end this um, uh, update and tell you please to like, share, and subscribe. And we see you at the comment section.